I grew up on a farm that's been in our family 130 years now. And my father used to say after we put in 14 hours in the field and plus done chores, we didn't get much done today, but we'll give it heck tomorrow. I learned a lot about work ethic from my dad and that has helped motivate me my entire life. Well, my wife is probably the most understanding wife in the whole country. Her initial reaction when I said I was going to leave this great job as president of Des Moines University, take a, a huge pay cut to run for governor again was, are you crazy? And I guess you have to be a little crazy to do this business. She's been very understanding and very supportive. We are reducing the costs of higher education and making it more affordable for Iowans because I know that education is the key to getting good job opportunities. The biggest export used to be our children and now uh, when the Lieutenant Governor and I meet with these young people, we find many of them are entrepreneurs. They want to start their own business. They want to stay in Iowa. We've made it more attractive and easier by reducing some of the tax and regulatory burdens. Also by reducing the cost of higher education by freezing tuition. What it means is an opportunity to stay in Iowa once they graduate and get a good job, a career in our state that will make it possible for them to support their family. All you have to do is look at what happened in the previous 12 years when we had Democrats in control and they spent like crazy and put the state in debt. And our unemployment rate went up and the job opportunities went down. We've turned that around. We've reduced the size and cost of government and focused on bringing good business and jobs to the state. We've set three records in the last year in terms of capital investments in our state. And this makes a real difference in the lives of not only the people that are unemployed, that uh, can find opportunities, but also the young people growing up, uh, getting them to stay in Iowa, looking at the opportunities they have to be entrepreneurs and create businesses in our state. The answers are not coming from Washington. They're an example of gridlock and debt and deficit where Republican governors across the country are reducing taxes, reducing the regulatory burden, and focusing on bringing business and private sector jobs to revitalize America. And we're working every day to revitalize Iowa as part of revitalizing the American economy. Republican governors are the ones that are leading America's comeback.